What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. This is my channel, Life of Psy, and to, it's mainly about animals. And today, we're going to be talking about some of my reptiles. Today we're actually going to be going over some of the heating and um, the ideas that I have for this enclosure. Now I did just bite the bullet and spend a little bit of money. Fortunately I am uh, friends with the guy that makes these so he's helped me out a little bit um, because I broke AF because yeah that's just how I roll. Um, <laughs> later on down the track me and him are going to team up and do some cool things and I'd really like to advertise a little bit more for him, um, even though he's not really asked for it, and, um, but he's a friend, so that's what friends do. They look out for each other. He gave me some of these. Well, he didn't give me some of these. He, he made me some for a decent price. So he is currently selling these for, I think, 15 to $20 each. I'm not sure about the little ones or the if that was for the big ones. I'm not sure, but that's with a tile as well. So um, these ones, let me fix my hair up. It's looking atrocious. My hair's all nice and fluffy because I washed my hair before. But today we're going to be running the heat cords through these. Uh, 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 let me show you. Up here, in here, that's the back wall one. Is it? Yes, that is the back wall. And this one goes at the front. I oh, know, I flipped it upside down, sorry. Give me a second. That one goes like that. This one goes like this. So, now, this is what this is going to look like. The heat cord comes in through this hole, not that hole, because I didn't know that I was getting, getting these, and I rushed ahead, drilled holes, and I was actually gonna tape the cord down, but that is not gonna work very well. So we bit the bullet and we spent some money. So we're gonna need to change some of these holes. So the heat cord's gonna come in through here, go up around here, through a hole in here, and come over and let me get the other piece. <coughs> Join onto this enclosure here. Now, I don't know if you can see both. There is a hole there, it'll be just there, and it comes through, pops out into this one. Now, unfortunately, we're gonna have to modify these a tiny bit more and cut out the end of this one. So, what I mean by that is this one here comes in, there is nothing blocking that from coming in goes through the wall and then this one here is designed for the end of it to sit in it. Now we're just going to cut that out and then send the cord through the back wall, not through that hole because like the other one, I pre-cut that one. So I'll explain it from the back. The heat cord goes in this hole here. The plug comes out here onto a thermostat. It comes out somewhere down here. That is the other hole there. And then it'll run down on the outside into this enclosure. And then run through there, run around here, go out, down to the next enclosure. Through to the next one, and then down to the bottom one. Now, there is 12 meters. We worked out that we need about nine meters. So the excess on the outside here hopefully won't be a problem. We should have enough to do it uh, with just the one 12 meter one. Now the 12 meter heat cord is the reptile uh, reptile one hundred watt. Ugh, there it is, hundred watt, 12 meter long, uh, six mil thick heat cord. They come in the boxes and they're a cord, and they heat shit. That's all you need to know. <clears throat> so. That's what we're going to be running. So to put that in comparison to why I'm moving towards the heat cords, yes, they're a little bit more expensive, but I go through an absolute butt ton of these globes and at $7, well, they're about $3 and something each and I blow them all the time. 
especially uh, because I'm moving them around all the time. So each one of these light bulbs uh, runs anywhere from 40 to 80 watts. So these ones that are currently in here are the 60 watts. So we're talking uh, 240 for all four of them. The bottom ones, ugh, the bottom one's not plugged in, but the globe is in there um, just because there's nothing in it. Um, I thought that I would just not run it. So um, yeah, that is 240 watts there. And we're gonna heat all six of these for 100 watts. There's no brainer on which one's gonna be a little bit cheaper to run um, and should last a little bit longer. If I do have any problems with it, I will change it later on. The girl in here has her own, I'm changing her up. I'm, she's supposed to be moving into one of these ones here and um, she actually might go in that bottom one down there. And uh, that is a, a 25 watt heat mat or heat mat tile. Um, that one was in, I got it for $50. I think I paid $50 for that heat tile, which is super good. It is an absolute amazing idea if you, um, if you only have a handful of enclosures to do that. Or if you have lots of money and you want to do it that way, it works real well. We'll go over that one in another video. I have done a video about it. Um, I also have my own DIY heat tile in that one. And then a DIY uh, bolt up underneath um, heat tile or heat cord wrap in that one there. And um, I also have heat cord in my incubator as well. So. I'm starting to get the hang of it and um, we'll figure out the the tricks to it. So yeah, I'm going to get on cracking with this, see how we go, mark out some holes, figure out where I've got to drill my holes and then probably have to drill them again because I didn't double check it. So measure twice, cut once or just don't measure at all and cut four times. I don't know. That's bad advice. Don't do that. <laughs> So I'll see you guys in a second and hopefully I will have a little bit more done for you. I've already come into my first problem. So I started the heat cord in this enclosure and then it goes to this enclosure. Now when it drops down, I want the heat on this side of the enclosure because this is where the heat is gonna be mostly on this enclosure here. So put the hot end on this side and the colder end on that side. That way when this box here heats up, it heats up this side as well. So there's no real confusing thing because I don't want to heat that end as well and then have this warm up this end so both of these are still warm. So um, although the temperatures probably won't get high enough for them to kill them, it just may not give them the, comfort com the choices that they would like to be given um, in order to, you know, get different temperatures. So uh, I'm going to suggest that you guys plan your routes. So, sorry, I can't really figure out where to hold the camera because of the lighting. Um, plan your route. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cord completely out again, start it in this enclosure. It'll go through this one, drop down into this one, and then from this one, I'll cross over to the other side, do that one and that one. I haven't put the divider in it yet. And then when I go to the bottom, it'll be on that side. That way there's only one crossover where I waste quite a bit of the heat cord on the back. So by planning its journey, I will show you the back. The journey of it coming out of this one here, or it going in this one to the next enclosure. So in order for me to make what I've done work, it goes in here to um it comes out of this one here and then it would have to travel from there to here to start the next one so from there to there is about half a meter of heat cord that i will not be using so we're going to try and minimize the crossovers as much as possible and um yeah so plan your journey uh and look, if I had the money to do it, I would do every single one of these off their own cord, but I wanted less cords and less other things, but it calls for 
more calculations uh, and having everything work perfectly right. So, yeah. So I actually just filmed a whole entire video saying blah, 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 blah. And my microphone was bumped when I put it down and the audio didn't work. So we're going to have to refilm, refilm all of that again. And um, hopefully I don't forget anything. So unfortunately we have come to an end. And I only... Uh, I got this one and that one, they're connected, and then it goes from there to this one, that one is all done, from this one to that one, that one's done, to that one, and then I will show you what the back looks like. So, it starts here, it goes through this enclosure into the next one, and the heat tile there comes out here, goes from here, comes down there, that is the big heat tile, comes out here goes down there, goes into the heat tile that's in there, and then through the wall into that one. And we are left with this. So unfortunately, that is not long enough to do the last one. So we lost about two meters. There's about 40 centimeters there and there, and then maybe a meter and a bit there. So yeah, close to about two meters of lost, uh, lost corn. But, I thought of a better way, maybe a better way, to run the heat tiles from, the heat cord in the back to this one. Well, no, wait, from this one here, that heat tile goes to that one. Runs along the back of the enclosure, into this one, runs from that one, down to this one, and from this one, into this one. And that would be the almost 12 meters. And then, do the exact same there. That might work. The only problem with that is I've just done all of this for completely nothing. So um, we will see what the go is. Um, I just put a drill bit into my leg. That hurt a lot. Unfortunately, that seems like the better idea, but fortunately I have heat cords everywhere. There's another two 12 meter ones there. So that's 24 meters of heat cable. Um, there's a brand new one in this box, which is actually from Aqua One. Uh, these ones are from Reptile One, these are Aqua One, same bloody things, and apparently whoop, the heat cables are exactly the same. The funny thing about this is this one here was cheaper, the 25 watt, 25 watt uh, heat cable was only $14.50, but I got it for like $11 or something, um, so... That was cool, and I was like, I'll just buy it. So, worst case scenario, this one is a meter long. That doesn't even seem right. So, 25 watts for one meter long, or you've got 100 watts for 12 meters. Whatever, I don't even care. I'm not sure how they work these things out, and that's not really my business. So yeah, there's also heat cables in there. So if we run out of heat cable, we can always just add a little bit more. Um, it's just a bummer. I don't really want to be wasting any of the heat cord and then having all of that extra heat cord not usable is a bit of a waste. So yeah, we will have to see what the plan is. Maybe we'll just run it like this, silicon it in. And if we want to take everything out, just a quick razor blade will pull out the silicon and pull all of the cable out and we can restart it again um, at a later date, which I think I might do because I don't want to really undo all of that. So we'll have to wait until tomorrow to plug it all in and see how it works. Um, give the vibs a little bit of a clean up because there's quite a bit of dirt in them, quite a bit of sawdust and um, yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to end this video here or I'm going to run through to tomorrow. So just in case, take it easy, stay awesome, 
And remember, you can't fail if you try. See you later.